Hello educators, back with another video. We're gonna be taking a look at pairing your Blackboard Ultra course to McGraw-Hill Connect, coming up. To do this very quickly, we're gonna jump into Blackboard Ultra. We're going to go to a course that we wanna pair. We can come down here to the books and tools. It'll say view course and institution tools. We click this link. Now I've paired this course already with the connect section, so it does appear up at the top. But for the first time, you wanna go down to the bottom and hit browse all course tools. Now be sure that this tool is actually configured to communicate with McGraw-Hill. If it isn't already, if you click this button and it says that there is an error, be sure to check with your LMS administrator to make sure that this tool is connected, this tool is working. Uh, ours is in this instance, so we're gonna click this and find connect. Now, when we do find Connect, it's going to ask us for the first time to log into our McGraw-Hill Connect uh, account. So we want to be able to do that using the account that has all of our courses built out, all of our resources, our instructor resources. Uh, so be sure to log into that. You might have to say that you agree to the terms. Once we've done all of that, we will get to a page that says pair with a Connect section. We're going to go ahead and click on this section. It will take us to a familiar page that we've done before if we've ever paired a course. And it'll say, do we want to pair with a new Connect course or an existing course? If you're wanting to completely start from scratch, use one of your resources, we can then say we want a new, we can find the title, and we can uh, you know, select what we actually want. This is recently used subjects, so we can look at the Spanish and the marketing there. Uh, but if we want to pair to an existing, we want to select that and we can now see that we have sections available out there. When we do click on the text, we can see that there's a test course 101, a test course 201. And if I click on any one of these, it will now pop up the different sections that I have available on this text itself. I want to pair with this uh, test course 101 section here. This is one that I have built out for this purpose and we're going to hit save. Once we hit save, we now have a window that says it is complete. If we wanna go back to Blackboard, we can click this yellow button here on the left-hand side, or if we wanna just start moving assignments into our course, we can click go to the section home. If we hit return to Blackboard, it'll take us back to our course. It will then load the LTI or the tool page that we had seen before. Uh, and we can go simply back to our course. If we ever want to access our McGraw-Hill course from here on out, we want to go back to that books and tools and we can go to this connect. What this will do is bring us to a menu that has several options. We can go out to our section. We can also look at our smart book or our learn smarts. We can resync our connection, or if we want to simply reset our pair, we can select that there. Now that we have our courses paired, it's important to understand that all of the due dates, the points available, how many attempts the students have, any of the actual settings within the assignments itself are all going to be made in the McGraw-Hill side of the course. But we want to access that course through this portal in Blackboard. When we want to edit due dates, we will want to edit availability, we want to go through that Blackboard link out to McGraw-Hill. Now, I have a long format of this video that teaches you how to pair the course and move content from McGraw-Hill into Blackboard. I'll put the link in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this content, be sure to like this video and leave any questions that you have in the comment section below. I'm gonna be building out more videos like this, specifically on Blackboard Ultra, helping you build the best course for your digital platform. Thanks for watching.